Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to use up some more patterned paper. I've got a few products from Funky Fossil Designs. I've got this gorgeous paper pad called Shine Bright and I've barely used it and I absolutely love it. So I really wanna try and start using my patterned paper rather than hoarding it. Um, so in today's video, we're gonna make three cards uh, using the patterned paper and using a stamp set and die set that went along with it. As you can see, there's lots of gorgeous patterns, uh, so we'll be able to make lots of pretty cards using that. I've got this really cute A7 stamp set called Happy Mail. Uh, I'm particularly going to be using the sentiment, the envelope and the snail. I've got these gorgeous heart enamel dots, an older thank you die from Funky Fossil Designs, and then these really fun postage stamps and postmark dies with matte layers. So for the first card, I've gone ahead and cut the smallest postage stamp out of using the pattern paper. I've got six squares. I've then gone ahead and die cut a postmark and I've also die cut the thank you sentiment and laid it up three times. So it's a little bit more sturdy. I've got a five by seven card blank and all I'm going to do is lay out the postage stamps on the front of that and attach them down with some glue. Now it really helps to lay them on the card first before you start gluing them down. I'd made a mistake when I glued that first one down in the middle, but as you can see, I've been able to quickly just peel it up. So I can just add some more glue back on the back of that and then attach that down. Once you're happy with the, your layout, you can then go ahead and glue the rest down. You could of course use foam tape here if you wanted to add a little bit more dimension, but I'm just keeping mine nice and flat today. There's gonna be dimension in the sentiment, so um, I'm just keeping these flat. I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer glue here, but of course, whatever you've got in your stash. And then I'm just going to do the same on the back of the sentiment, add a little bit of glue, uh, and then we can attach that down in the centre. Because we've layered it up three times, it makes quite a nice embellishment. Then to add the postmark, I'm just going to add the centrepiece back in. Now it is pattern paper, but I thought I'd just flip it over and attach that in so that we've got the white on the other side. And I'm just using a little bit of double-sided tape just to hold that in place. I can use my scissors just to trim off the excess and then I'm just going to stamp that little envelope in the centre. Then because we've attached the um, centre part back down with tape, I can add a little bit of foam tape on the back to pop it up and give it a little bit more dimension. I've then got these really cute enamel hearts uh, from Funky Fossil Designs and I'm just going to add those to the top right hand corner of each of the stamps just to add an extra little bit of interest to the card. And so that's the first card finished. I really love how cute this design is and how it really shows off the pattern papers. So it's a great way to use up any scraps that you've got. For the second card, I've then got this gorgeous, like burnt orange red uh, piece of paper from the pad. And it's got lovely text details in the background, very subtle, but it is there and it does add a little bit of extra interest to the card. So I've gone ahead and trimmed the pattern paper down to five and five eighths squared and I've got this on a shop bought six by six card blank. Then I've got this other piece of pattern paper. This was a scrap in the front of the pad and I've just cut it down to three and five eighths by five and five eighths. So we're just going to get these stuck down now to our card base. I'm attaching the red orange piece straight down with Kalal glue and then I'm adding some Kalal to the back of the pattern piece as well. And we're just going to stick that down slightly off centre to the left. I already had that large postage stamp die cut from craft cardstock, so I'm going to use that up today and I've just worked out my layout. But we're also going to stamp out this snail. Now, because I'm going to colour it with alcohol markers, I'm going to use Memento Black ink here. and I'm just using my All In Create acrylic block. I've zoomed in closely so that you can just see me colouring with uh, alcohol markers, but I'm really not an expert at this, so I would definitely... Um, find another YouTube channel to get some colouring techniques. Uh, I'm just really, just getting some quick colour down. I do like the way that when our alcohol markers dry, they dry nice and flat and you end up with a really nice blended, smooth colour background. Almost looks like it's been uh, printed. So um, it does look a little bit blotchy on the camera, but it does dry a lot flatter than that. So I'm just adding a little bit of uh, blusher for his cheeks and then I'm just going to blend that out again with another grey colour. I've added a little bit of grey onto the envelope just to break out the break down the white and add a little bit of shading and then I'm just adding a couple of enamel dots to the hearts. I've coloured his eyes in in green and I'm just going to now fussy cut him out using my cutter B scissors. Once I've fussy cut him out I'm just going to go around the edges with a black pen just so that it neatens up any kind of white paper that might show at the edges of the fussy cut lines. 
So this is just a re really quick uh, way of adding a little focal point to the card front using a stamped image and just adding a little bit of colour really quickly with some alcohol markers. So now we can bring back in the rest of the elements for this card and I can again just check that the layout is how I want it. I decide that I'm going to stamp the happy mail sentiment right on the bottom of the pattern piece of paper that's that smaller postage stamp and actually despite the pattern it does stand out quite well. So while that's drying to one side, I'm just going to add a bit of foam tape to the back of the large craft postage stamp. And this is just going to add a little bit of dimension to what is a very simple card. So once I've added the foam tape, I'm just going to take off all the backing tape and then we can attach that down uh, to the uh, slightly to the right of the card front. For the smaller postage stamp, I'm just going to add some quick grab glue to the back of that and then we can attach that down. And then I'm going to add the um, postmark and again, I'm just going to use some quick grab glue for this. Once I've stuck that down, I've added a little bit too much glue. Now, although the um, Cosmic Shimmer does dry clear, it doesn't dry matte. So you would, you would see it if I left it. So I've just quickly wiped that off with my finger. I'm now just going to add a few little highlights with a white gel pen to the snail. Again, um, I'm just trying to think about areas where um, the gel pen would look nice, perhaps where the light would catch his eyes and his face, and then I've gone a bit haphazard on the shell. <laughs> uh, but we just add a little bit of foam tape to the back of him. And again, that will just add a little bit of dimension and just um, set him up on the card quite nicely. So that's the second card finished for today. So onto the third card. Now I already had a piece of this pattern paper as a scrap at the front of the pad. So I've cut that down to three and a half by five and three quarters. And then this piece of green card stock that matched really nicely, I'm just gonna cut down to three and five eighths by five and seven eighths. And these will fit nicely then in the center of the five by seven card blank. Now this pattern paper with all the arrows on, I decided to cut a few strips out of it. And then I've got the black circle, it was um, a spare from the die cut from the postage stamp, so we're going to make use of that as well. I'm just going to attach the two layers together and then just add some colour to the back of that and attach it to the card blank. And then we that'll help us be able to get our layout. So I'm just going to add these strips. I'm going to add two across and one up. They're all different lengths to add some interest. And then for the postage mark, circle that was left. I'm just going to use my anti-static powder bag and I'm going to use that envelope with some wow embossing ink and some super fine white embossing powder. And now because it's so small I'm going to hold it with my tweezers while I heat set that because I don't want to burn my fingers and I'm able to use a little paintbrush just to get off any extra little bits before we heat set it. So I'm just heating up my heat gun to the side and I'm just going to grab that with the tweezers and we'll just quickly heat set that. It only takes a second because it's so small. And then I've got these circle foam pads that I'm going to use. I'm just going to add one to the back of that and then we can just pop that up on the side. And it just adds a really nice little finishing touch to the card. I've then got this other sentiment, uh, which I'm just going to stamp directly onto the pattern paper. It reads, sent with love. And that's the third finished card for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that this has given you some ideas for how you could use up your pattern paper. I'll leave links to all the products that I've used in the description box below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.